trouble, turn oh, four. Oh, oh, One no. car hard in the wall, Kurt Busch. Oh, no. Kurt looked like he might have been turned. That Look at it step out. Yeah, oh, got my, oh yeah. wow, big time. Straightened Jimmy out, and he kept yep. going, but unfortunately, but it was at the expense of the 41 of Kurt Busch. Did you see that 48 car, though? He was going to spin out. I think he yep. was definitely going to spin out. Nice job by Austin Dillon to miss. Bush. Oh. Nothing he could do. Alex Bowman's car. There you go. The wreck in your bit. Is it easier to run up high? Whoa, oh, no. trouble. One car slides Again. to the inside. It's Johnson for the second time. And that, that just snapped around. Will likely put. It. Just step out. Yeah, yeah you're just all back right still. And you know when you've got your teammate outside of you, the last guy you want to get into is your teammate. So you could tell he was really trying to keep it off the 24 of Chase Elliott and the round it came. But listen, guys, every time. Right, right, right here. You're coming out of the corner onto the flat. On, Another thing to think about too, Jeff, is that being on the inside, is he not only lacking, is he lacking a lot of sat? I don't have much pull on the back of these cars. Wow. Come on. All right, we'll have a caution here. But yeah. three, yep. one car up in the wall, Truex. So he made a real across the nose. Just the wasn't clear of the uh, 42. Yeah, but that's where the action was. I mean, there was some movement right there that was a little bit suspicious Ooh. to me. And he catches Busher. I should follow Harvick through there, and it just wasn't quite enough room. Just by a couple inches, yeah. but yeah. that's all it takes just at that flipped. point. Yeah, Truex has seen the one car holding everybody up as far yeah, as right. backing back up to the field. He didn't back want that car to hard hard get down. Follow that four car, and that's the risk you got to take. And Larson shove and, and gain some momentum Reckon from that right drive. Here. Reckon easy, 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 Lope. Lope, yeah. stay up, stay up, stay up. Stay up. Looks like a little contact. Guys. Can he do anything Better cut with him it? off. Oh, yes. no. We got a crash. We've got cars out of control oh, here. No. Legato, the gather back up. Oh, no. The 11 cars out of control off of two. So no got out. Got hit again. Caution. No contact. And here they come. Great job. And great heads up move by Logano, knowing to go wide and get by him on the outside. Logano straightened it up, but then collected Austin Dillon. A little contact between and him and around. Three. Yeah, he yeah. went around again. But can Middle three. Check in front of you. Keep digging. Keep digging. Clear up. up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. All the way up. Whoa. Middle. What? Paul Menard on the outside. Watch the oh, oh no! Contact. Kyle Busch oh, got my bounced a wreck. Right there, and it was Paul. Busch and Paul Menard on the racetrack. Kenseth got shuffled. Oh, all trouble. Fifty-fives around. Oh, Reed Sorensen. Oh, head man. on into the infield retaining wall, and that's Corey LaJoy slipping past. That was weird. Ooh, I mean, you know, just ooh. Corey got a big, big push, maybe from Kyle Busch behind. Oh, man, that's a hit. But what I love about what I'm seeing there, I know that was a heavy impact, but look. 83 get a little, did he get a little loose here? Maybe well, not, he looked for the inside. Yeah, and the 55 fell back a little bit. He got a big run and he went to the go to the, go to the inside. The 83 did of Corey LaJoy, and unfortunately he just made contact and then left rear. It doesn't take the. Bam, oh, bam. Oh, uh, Ooh, that's wow, actually a lot the 48. Of, yeah. As the 38 comes up here, it looks like he gets in the quarter panel of the 48, yeah, turns it into the 21. Exactly. There's some. Co that's why wow. you got to be so careful wow. side drafting down that back straightaway, get some nose damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got a shot. He couldn't. In, in a situation oh, here like goes. this. It's down. Yeah. Right front's down. You saw the sparks. Come on, yeah. uh, Caution. First stage and almost a collision Crash. and hard into the wall goes Corey LaJoy. LaJoy misjudged his speed and Coming tries hot. to avoid Clint ah. Boyer, which Clint's thankful of, but unfortunately it loads over in the left rear and he just can't keep it under control. No loose, then they went three wide. He tried to close the door. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, we got a little wide, three wide right there. Stops. Whoa, Kyle oh, is no. big wreck. Wow, there's Dale Jr. got involved. Oh, Jr.'s in it, and Matt Kenseth. And sure. Ty Dillon and Eric Jones are all piled up in turn three. What the heck happened? The 18 himself. Boy. Oh, it just Whoa. turned. I mean, that has to be a tire. There's no way that car just jumped around like that without something happening to it. I mean, he just lost. That thing just went. Traffic right here. 
I can't imagine that there was an arrow no, I, I situation there, but something cut that it tire. Definitely did turned he around contact? Did he make contact with that car? He was. No, that thing just turned around, Mike, all okay. by itself. Oh. You're right. McDowell was nowhere near him. Right. That was nice. Caution, though. Loose and crazy as they get the end of that straight. I mean, do they think it's 10 oh, to go? Trouble. Here we go. Here up. we go. Jimmy Johnson got turned and they pile up behind him. 14 48. I mean, the whole crowd. There's a 10. Wow. Lord of mercy. It's caution flag of the day. Seven. Wide. What happened oh, yeah. was the one car, he snuck to the outside of the 48, getting into turn three, and the six tried to go to the inside. Just not enough room to, to make it four wide right there. And Mike, I know you won't, the, the cars are the most difficult to hang on to at the end of that back straightaway. They're light right there. Any touch, any move can spin you out. I got you. I've seen, I've not only seen this, I've been a part of this. Jamie McMurray pulls this move a lot. He sticks his nose just right there on your right rear quarter panel, nudges his way in there and makes some, some great moves, but it is very aggressive. Caution is out once again for a big pileup in turn three. He had swung his way at this point. And oh, now it's trouble. Big one, turn Mike. four. Three cars spin down to the inside trying to save it and Teammates. stay off the wall. And Stenhouse, Bain cannot. They impact the inside wall coming off four. Was Blaney coming to pit road there? It almost looked like and, it because it looked like he was trying to LA drop Sandler down. Maybe had to avoid him. It looked like the 21 was definitely dropped. Oh, look at him. It's either he's out of either he's out of control. He either got loose coming off of turn four or he was headed to pit road. Either way, they had to the seven of Elliott Sadler had to avoid him. That made contact with the 17, the six. Let's watch in the back straightaway and see if Ryan Blaney has his hand out to indicate he's that right he's here. Bitter. He does. Now that's a on the inside. Excuse me. That's game. Oh, oh, oh big trouble. Good but grief. They're Did they not? Wreck? Oh, they're oh, wrecking. They they're wrecking. Wow. Suarez to the inside along with Newman. They're Cars piling wrecking, up to the outside and all the way across the track. Was that? They're still wrecking. Oh, McMurray's involved. I, I, it almost looked like the rear bumper possibly. Oh, he start tries to go to the inside, make it three wide. Yeah. Gets to the left rear bumper of the 24 of Chase Elliott, turns him down into. I think that's Michael McDowell, and that just starts a chain reaction. Boy, McMurray's just super aggressive. <laughs> I don't think those Hendrick teammates are gonna be real happy with him. Wow. Oh goodness. Yep, Chase Elliott. Yeah. So, so McMurray's going to go try to go three wide. There isn't any room. Guys, one of the things that happens when you're pushing somebody, you're in control of their car, and what that does is create an opportunity for you to jump inside or outside of them, and and it works sometimes. But man, is it risky. You never know if you're going to be able to get inside or if they're going to block you, and that's exactly what happened. He kind of got got um, Chase a little bit out of shape. He went to go inside there, and Chase. I don't think he had anything he could do. It just almost turned him. Well, when and the cars, cars come shooting across to the inside of the track, watch this 31 of Newman do a whole lot of agricultural racing right here. Wow. Like snow plows. Jeffrey Earnhardt, which is not useful in Florida. Involved. And we're under caution again for a multi car crash in the Daytona. Oh, trouble again. Trouble again. Here we go. And across comes the 23, Joey Gase. Big slide. And that splitter digs in when it gets to the grass. He's going to come up. Yeah. Yep, exactly. You can what see happened. Chase tried to back out the last second. He realized that he was going to come up, just not quite soon enough in terms of. Here. Nope. Left front's all caved in. Yeah, he just had no idea. That Chase Elliott had a big run on the outside. But the Peters is right now. You want to be a part of that closing outside lane? Oh! Contact and into the wall. Hang on to it here, man. Hold the brake. Hold oh, the 19 of Austin Cindric hard into the wall. Looked like Chase Briscoe got into the back of the 18 of Noah Gregson. Wow. 
a lot of damage. Right there, just an awkward push from the 29 truck of Briscoe into Gregson. And these guys scatter from there. The track gets blocked. You hit that grass over there, it tears the nose off the truck. Look at that wreck. They're still wrecking late into it. Down in the grass. At that point, it begins like a, becomes like a spiking trucks. Look, it was just a situation where it looked like Gregson went up. Gregson went up and Briscoe was on him and they made contact. Yeah, the seven of Brett Moffat had that outside line. It was a little bit seized up there. So we talk about how the fact you can't hardly see through these trucks very well. He was slow and looked like Chase just got in the back, back of nowhere just a little bit. Or did he? If, it, it, but it doesn't take much. All it takes is the slightest bit of contact. It looked like Greg, Gregson maybe was just trying to maneuver in behind the truck ahead of him and, and could have gotten loose. Clay Green, he's in this. It, it has every sign that he hit him, but that one angle, Phil, it didn't look like he was up on him when the truck started weaving. Hard, hard hit for Austin Cendrick, that 19 truck into the outside, safer barrier. Just needed a, a couple of feet, Phil, and he's through on the inside. Yeah. How about this time from the 24 of Scott Legacy Jr.? Watch it. Inside only. Get on their door inside. Inside only. You have more help coming here. Go on, check up, check up, check up, check up. Stay at the top. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Watch the silver ground. Get on the brake, get on the brake, get on the brake. Clear down. He could have escaped without any damage. Phil. Wins the stage. Oh, and they're going to crash. Bell and Moffat contact, and the caution is out. It's the 23 of Spencer Gallagher. Like he might have just got into the back end of that seven truck. He just got enough. To, he got out to the right side of the bumper, yeah. Vince, and I think that's what turned Brett Moffat around. A couple involved. You can see right there. Maybe that's why Matt Crafton dove out of that pack. Going to go racing when we come back at Daytona. Oh, Ooh. John Hunter Nemechek. With an... Trying to hold hey, on to it. Here. No stage yet to come. That's what they did. Oh, oh, there it goes. Contact between Peters and Bell. Can Bell gather it in? Definitely it some contact. The and the five of Corbin Forrester through the grass. Tears up the front end. Right along with Christopher Bell. Second time he's had an issue in that spot tonight. So Timothy Peters behind me. Oh, John Hunter Nemechek is around. No caution yet. There's the caution. And the caution oh, is right. out. You see all the damage that Nemechek is. Yeah, John Hunter just gets a little bit loose coming off the corner. It gets away from him. His dad, Joe, did an amazing job to avoid him. And that's right, right there where we talked about exiting the corner from the bank yep. to the flat right there, loose. Just when it flattens out, that rear goes around, keeps it out of the outside wall. But remember that we had a, a restart early in the race with the head of that black and yellow number eight. That's what you call it. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. You're middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're Crashing roads in the Crafton. Damn. Crafton up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. No surprise to me that exiting the corners when the trouble happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfing was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess cleanly. And this is just way too much right here. Enfinger would have been much better off just to, to tap his partner, tap his buddy past Crafton, but he got too aggressive. It's the last lap. You understand that. But look at the impact by Timothy Peters. And look at Grala just sneaking through that hole. Right through the middle. And how about Austin Wayne self right behind him. Chase Briscoe as well as Crafton goes up and over. Wow. 30 some hundred pounds of race vehicle just floating around like a feather.
that tells you how fast these guys are going and how crazy things get at the end. He's still not on the ground. Watch it all from the 24 of Scott Legacy. Leap, bump it, stack it, stack it, stack it. Keep rolling outside, bottom three, bottom three, close the door at the bottom. Get down, get down. Hey, truck, watch it spin, keep rolling, watch it spin, get through it. How crazy was that wow. view of Crafton over there? We're going to see that again. Still three with help. Still three with help. Oh. Wreck it. Hang on to Timothy it never even had time to back off, guys. Mid, three Bell. mid. Three mid. Three mid. Easy, come middle, 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 middle. Keep coming middle. Keep oh. coming middle. That looks straight out of the movies. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe that truck could fly over. Had three cars were connected very well all the way to turn one. You see, oh, Casey trouble. shoot out. Got one in the wall back there. Yeah, I think that's the 44 of Benny Gordon that went wide. Oh. Is that a sign of what's to come, Kevin? Loose race cars? Because Benny From his spotter, Kevin Hamlin. Caution out for the second time today, Chris. That's the 40. Here's a look back at what happened to Hightower coming off of turn four. If you're going to get loose, Kevin, you know this. It's going to be exiting four. That track flattens out in a hurry and around he went. I don't know if he got a little help or not, but that's certainly a certainly a, a, a really tough. William Byron here in the nine, he, sli he, he, he slides it, and then it gets into the wall. Play teammate, I mean, not a company teammate. Oh, oh we got trouble. trouble. Tyler Reddick in the 42. That's Spencer. Ryan Reed. Garrett Smithley through the grass. Spencer Gallagher gets a piece of it. Oh, and they're still wrecking. Saw William Blake Byron. Going. Kevin, you said it. Talk about mistakes on pit road. Yeah, you just, you have to do it. Watch the 42. Off of the bumper. Of the 24 of Scott Lagsey, it looked like. And then they just kept wrecking at him. I, Surprised they couldn't get them woed down. That happened right near the front of the field. Yeah, and I think what, what happened there is the 42 was almost going down, and it's like the, the, the car behind him, the 24, just got him off center in the bumper, and it just hooked him to the right as he was pushing him. We saw the same thing last night in the truck series on lap one, a, a bump draft gone wrong. And watch these guys just trying their best to work their way through this mess. With Kyle Larson. One out front, one inside. What a job of driving that one. <laughs> Woohoo! Third caution of the day at Daytona. Gonna put the red flag out. Five laps to go in stage one here at the World Center of Racing. And watch the job this cat does. Look at that, the whole world's right in front of him and around he goes, but no serious damage. Brad Kidd shuffled out of the draft, lost track position. He did make a trip down pit road to get some damage repaired. Minimum speed, so their five minute clock is gone. Good oh. news for them, and what a hard hit. Brandon Jones nose first into the outside wall. Oh man, that's a shame. Look at the cars. Brad Keselowski sneaks through again. Ryan Sieg's gonna make it, but Brandon Jones, Daniel Suarez, Bubba Wall. Hemrick, my goodness, are we gonna have any cars left? Oh, Hemrick slides up the track, gets into Algeyer. Jones hit it once, rebounded, got hit again, and turned once more, exact same location, into the wall. Michael, I don't know if he got loose right there, if he was going up to get a side draft, or, or what, what really happened to the 21 right there to, and, to cause him to go up the track. And possibly could he have hit some of that speedy drive maybe, and it made him just change lanes all so slightly, but you can see he's heading in the wrong direction when they come into turn three. I've been here before, and, and, and you go in there and you feel like you can't turn the wheel. You've been into turn three a lot where you've on board with Daniel outside. Suarez. 11, still with you. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. We're in it, guys. We're in it here. Got hit from behind and nosed up to the pin. A lot of front damage. You all right, bud? Listen to the violence of this is Brad Kislowski. Back up high. Back up there. Back up there. Back up there. Back up there. Go, 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 go. Easy, easy, easy. Middle, 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 middle. You're going right corner, right corner. Right corner. Back it down. Back it down. Middle lane's clear. Middle lane's clear. Middle. We'll really get a feel for the violence of that hit. My. Brandon Jones, too hard. Excuse me. Yeah, Brandon Jones, two hard hits. Oh, 
long here. You know, he was out, oh. out front too far. That Brendan gone is out front. Problems here for Benny Gordon. Tire goes down. He'll have to come to pit road. And that will bring out the caution for the end, guys. My wording on that. Looks like just probably some damage, Kevin, from earlier uh, contact and rubbed the right front fender. And yeah, I saw somebody smoking, and I have a feeling that, the, that it was probably his car and his tire hitting that fender, and that's the result of it. Benny Gordon, some regular season points. I'm going to the front. Oh, no. Crash. Brennan Poole. They're wrecking behind you. Do not lift yet. Do not lift. Do not lift. Okay. Back her down, brother. It'll be one to go. Brad Keselowski got into the back of Brendan Poole. And the end of a stage, here's what brought out the caution. Bam. With the experience of Brad Keselowski, Kevin, did you see anything there that, that makes you think that that wasn't just a typical bumpers not matching up bump draft? By a half, right lane solid, plus one in front See of how it was just a little bit off center, oh. you know, with... with but I mean, that's how that's how hard it is to do this bump drafting. I mean, we second time in stage two laps to go. Oh, There's one breaking trouble. free. Matt Tift in the 19. And he kissed it a little bit. Caution is out. Eighth one of the day. Five car. We're gonna have to get to the pits. Wow. How about that? Right in his lap. Get in the pits and maybe try to put some tape on that hood. He almost had bigger problems than that, didn't he? Oh, yeah, you just see the tire blow right there. As soon as he gets there, it'll almost become dead air. And oh, oh, there it is. The best car we thought all day long in a bump, tra bump drafting mistake just went into the wall. Number of big cars taken out in what is our third big crash of the afternoon. Austin Dillon approaching the one, gives yeah, him a little same bump, thing. knocks him out of what? out of whack even when these cars are square they're just so light in the back that it, everything has to be absolutely perfect or it causes another big wreck you know who this caution is big for william byron who didn't pit under that last caution took the wave around he was not going to be good on fuel now he will be and right now he scored in the top 10. just that easy to take the most dominant car of the day and, and crunch it, it up he narrowly avoided that wreck. So unfortunate for Elliot Sadler. You see Joey Gase, Ray Black Jr., Ryan Sieg. Ryan Reed. Just mowing the grass down that back straightaway. Here at Smithley. Wow. It happens, just happens so fast. Very, very tough situation for Elliott Sadler, Matt. Chance. That 88 is stout. Mm, but back behind him. Oh, there they go. Interesting Ray Black Jr. around. Oh, Ray behind you. Caution's out. Keep rolling. Forward. William Byron around. Caution is out. Tenth one of the day. Reed looking for the checkers. He's going to get it. Second career victory at Daytona. And they're crashing as they come across the start-finish line. Oh, my God! In their heads. Trouble already. That's Lancaster in the 83. Is that Dowsett in the 11? It is. Oh, and he was running fifth off to a great... I was on the inside in the 11. He got a little bit sideways there. And then there was contact. The 34, William Mullins, was trying to give him some extra room and ended up bouncing off of the 11. The 83 had a little bit of help from behind. So we are under caution in the early going. Tom Hessert, the pole sitter, for his first live pit stop as we take a look back at what happened to Dowza. I think the right rear tire went down on Dowza's car. You can see it's down already right there. That thing really snapped around pretty quick. Probably had something to do with the damage from that earlier incident early in the race. Oh, trouble. Oh, and a big hit that Thompson took. Multiple incidents on this one. LeBeau and on fire, that's Baccarella. Looked like the 66 of Mark Thompson got a bit of a bump. In that white and red car. And then Lyric came by and collected up of the screen now. There's going to be the bump right there. That turned Mark Thompson right into Gus Dean.
Oh, hard, hit hard hit. Michael Lira. John Ferry, their 16 car around in the middle of the racetrack. Let's see what we see on board from Gusty. Absolutely zero warning. Yep, and nothing you can do. Not one thing that he could do. He's just along for the ride at this point. AJ Fike up against the outside wall. Really tough hit. Last year had eight top ten finishes. Well, Baccarella really up with a hard hit on Gus Dean. Just like Michael Lira, hard hit into the 66 car of Mark Thompson. No and trouble. there we have a big one in the back. Michael Self is involved as well as Thomas Prater. There's Andy Seiss. Quint, Quint Howell right there, the 98 also involved. See, there's Leilani. You see the green car. Leilani gets a little bit of a bump from Bola Mastis, it looked like. That turned her into the outside, into Thomas Prater. You can see Terry Jones obviously in front here. And again, it all depends. You see the caution lights flashing, so it will be Terry Jones. Monty, she's going to get a bump and turns her right in to Thomas Prater. You see the bump right there. Michael thinks he's going to be okay, but unfortunately, gets a little bit of contact on the right side. I think he avoided really keep that outside line away. It would be nice if that out. Oh, contact. And hard into the wall. And yes. it looks like the 33 of Fontaine is on his on side. His lid now. See Bobby Gerhardt also involved. Gerhardt in the five. Look at the top of the screen yeah. first. No, from the bottom to the yeah. top. Look like maybe Kaz Grala might have got into the 58 car of Clint King to maybe start this. And again, everybody's out there pushing and shoving and not, not trying to give up any room whatsoever. You see the 33 of Fontaine slide. It looked like there might have been some contact there, and that Ooh. got the 58 of Clint King, I think, into Justin Fontaine's 33 car. Cody Robaw, Bobby Gerhardt came along with absolutely nowhere to go. You see Derek Lancaster gets into the outside wall right in front of them. And Justin Fontaine took a left side of his window. You see the green car get a little bit of a bump. He gets into seven, and that puts us back and on your side. Mentioned. Side racing in this last little stretch. With Terrio coming from the top side, which hasn't worked so far, to get to the front over Terry Jones, who led a large stretch of this race.